Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, back with another episode of Amnesia Memories! So, let's jump right back in, shall we? Wait a minute, what's that? Flip back a page in the notebook you're looking through. Look, the stuff written here is your schedule for August. I wonder what these red circles on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of each week mean. If we think about it normally, things that happen on the same days every week would be a part-time job or club activities, right? For example, well, let's say this is a schedule of your club activities. Clubs usually don't have many members. You'd know everyone there and they'd expect you to show up. If you don't show up and don't say anything on those days, they'll start to wonder why you're gone and come looking for you. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see, today is Tuesday, the next red circle is on this Thursday, so we have two days not including today. It would be a problem if we don't figure out what this is and prepare for it soon. For now, the only possible leads for information are the three people we know or we know you knew before losing your memories. That includes your boyfriend, Kent, and also the servers who seemed to know you at the cafe yesterday. It seemed like you weren't going out for long, but Kent is your boyfriend, so maybe we should go to him first. Speaking of the devil, hello, Kent. Whoa, or what? He's got really good, or great timing. This guy's good. This is perfect! Look for a good opportunity to get information of your plans out from him! You aren't coming today. Um, <laughs> what? You don't have work today. Let me guess, you're still angry about the day before yesterday. Uh, no. <laughs> I just don't know what's going on today! I'll apologize again if you want. I'm sorry about that day. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute! Oh my god! This is one of the more, like, healthier um, relationships I've seen out of this game so far. Because, well, he doesn't, he doesn't understand why he's wrong, so I guess it's not really healthy, but it's healthier. <laughs> so... Are you not going to come today? Uh, wait! Did you have some sort of plans to meet Kent today? He said you don't have work today, so that means you had a custom of meeting on days when you didn't have work? And wait, work? Are those circles in your notebook work days? Oh, this is really bad! You don't remember anything! What should we do? Is there any way of getting him to tell you about your job? And then we can figure out what to do beforehand. What's wrong? Do you have plans? Ah! Uh... Oh, gosh. What? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Um. Do you want to meet me at my work? <laughs> Why? Uh, don't ask why! I don't dislike that cafe, but I don't feel any need to go there. Do you like your workplace that much? However you, or however you desire to go to your workplace on a day off, that's uh, quite commendable in a way. You were just there yesterday after all. What? Ah, uh, I see. I'm sure you forgot something at the cafe yesterday. You believed that I'd make fun of you if you told me, and so you tried to come up with a reason to go. Uh, sure! <laughs> Am I correct to assume this? You never appeared to have any issues with blunt honesty, so this level of thought is unusual. Uh, sure? <laughs> However, perhaps you, or perhaps you may have heard this. A wise man once said, Inadequate ideas are worse than none at all. So, uh, to sum it up, the cafe yesterday is where you work. It's actually pretty lucky that we found out where you work, and we only got made fun of a little in exchange. Yeah, just a little bit. 
<laughs> but I see now. That's the reason why the waiters knew your name and recognized you. Now then, what should I do? I'm appreciative of the offer, but I'd like to continue progress in my research. What? Who well, I thought he was saying you should meet today? <laughs> if my insensitive idea is correct, you can just go retrieve your forgotten item and come here. There's enough time for that. Wait a minute! Oh no, we're going over to some guy's house! <laughs> he said come here! Here? But where? Cat's house? We don't know! <laughs> I love Orion in this route! <laughs> and if possible, it would be best to have tea or something at work and watch what they're doing! I don't think that's gonna happen. What will you do, Elizabeth? How will you answer him? Um. Oh, God. It's because I don't feel confident in my work? What? Your skills. It's been four months since you started. How bad are you at learning? Oh, jeez. Stop. Ugh, that's mean! <laughs> Did you make a mistake? <laughs> Regardless, all you have to do is ask if you can borrow their work manual and come here when you're finished. Oh gosh, see you later! No! <laughs> uh, he just said what he wanted and then hung up! <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> but borrowing a work manual is a really good idea. I didn't even know they had one. Alright, let's go to Mado no Hitsuji. Heck yeah! <laughs> Welcome back, ba- Uh... Oh, it's just you. <laughs> it's just you! <laughs> Well, I noticed this yesterday, too, but this guy seems really antisocial, don't you think? Not really. <laughs> Is it really okay for a butler to be like this? There's an event in the moonshine room today. It's a full house. Uh-huh. Are you gonna let me click through? Thank you. Huh? Oh, he's right! The cafe is full of people today! In that case, as a staff member, it probably wouldn't be good to take up seat. Yeah, no. Uh, I came to borrow a manual. A manual? Ah. Last week you forgot to give a customer a teaspoon. Ooh, I didn't know! Well, at least it doesn't seem weird now. Your desire to learn is admirable. Oh no, he's gonna get into it! Oh, Jesus! As the, as the manager, I'll permit you to take the manual with you. So this person's the manager. Here is the manual. Oh, I guess we should thank him. He just nodded and left. He seemed almost like a ghost. <laughs> just a, just a tiny bit. <laughs> oh boy. Why are you lagging so much today? Stop! The manager was a little scary, but it's good that you managed to borrow the manual from him. Heck, yeah it is. And that it didn't seem totally weird. We can't observe the cafe today, but it should be fine if you have this to read. Two more days until Thursday, which is the day you probably have work. If we study the manual really thoroughly, I'm sure you'll do fine without your memories. So, uh, let's see. Next, we were supposed to go over and see Kent. But we don't know where he is, so uh, let's just try to go back home first. Oh no. This is an awful idea, Orion. An awful idea. <laughs> oh, hi, Kent. Huh? It's Kent! 
Oh, come on. Stop skipping! <laughs> Why is he walking here? Did he come to pick you up or something? Man, it seems like he's a deep thought. Um... <laughs> Man, he just bumped into a telephone pole! <laughs> already. I came to pick you up. Let's go. Is yeah, he just ignoring the fact that he walked right into a pole? <laughs> he sure the fuck is alright. He sure is. And where are we going? <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. Alright. Try to click through guys. <laughs> Oh, come on! Quit it! <laughs> What's wrong? You aren't coming? It doesn't seem like you want to come over today. Are you still concerned about the day before yesterday? If you have a complaint, I want you to be upfront about it. I told you I'd listen. Or is it something else? Do you want to break up already? Heh. <laughs> In that case, that's quite a magnificent change of mind. It hasn't even been a week since we started going out. Are you already waving the white flag? Wait, it hasn't even been a week yet! <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that would be shortest relationship ever. What? Not a single thing in response. I honestly expected a barrage of chatter from you as usual. And besides, he is the one who came to pick you up! Why is he acting so bitter towards you? Yeah! Yeah, seriously! You dick! Normally, aren't couples who've only been going out for a week all over each other, like making happy and, uh, making happy and embarrassing memories? Yeah, usually. What's with the sour relationship? So, do you dislike the idea of coming over? Uh, no, I'm coming! I see, then that's good. I hear the first stage in dating is to spend as much time as possible together. This is concerning. Since yesterday, you've been far too, uh, or far too quiet. I'm not saying that I desire to argue with you. I simply wish to understand your intentions. That he should talk to you so belligerently. Belligerently, sorry. <laughs> Saying it in his voice is a little difficult. If we are in agreement, then let's go. Yeah! To Kent's house! <coughs> sorry. But should we go? I can't do his voice right today. Well, seeing how methodical this guy is, well, I highly doubt you'd be in any physical danger. If we agree to follow him, we'll find out where he lives. This might actually be a pretty good chance. Yeah, which is why I said to go. <laughs> huh, he lives in a place like this, in the city. It looks pretty aff or affluent. Feel free to come right in. My parents aren't home today either. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. you still live with your parents? Feel anything, Elizabeth? Oh, I'm sure you've been here before. Can you remember anything? Whoa, well, that's an expected look. There are decorative plants all over the desk. Huh, well, I thought he'd have a colder, super sterile room. But maybe he's actually a softie at heart. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Hmm? The pots have labels! Oh no! Fluid, vegetable juice, nutrient, hamster food, interval once per week. Wait, what's this? What's he doing? <laughs> and the next one! <laughs> Fluid, lactic beverage. What? 
<laughs> Nutrient, bird food, interval once per week. <laughs> what is it? Is there some sort of abnormality in the yogurt grass? That's a weird name if I ever heard one. It seems there is no issue. Sit down and read a book or something. I'm behind on preparing my slides. I've wasted too much time between yesterday and today. He brings you over, then just leaves you alone? He said he studied relationships, but I seriously think he needs to take another refresher course. <laughs> Thank you, Orion. <laughs> I don't know if this is work or research, but I think it would be natural for you to have been upset before you lost your memories. Oh well. <laughs> that face, though! Oh, Ryan! <laughs> it's so sassy! <laughs> it's not like you have any memories of liking him now. Besides, you need to go through that manual for work before Thursday comes around. Let's not worry about Kent and just study on our work or for work on our own. Sounds like a fantastic idea. Oh, that's cute! Aww. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. And it is evening. I get the feeling we're going to see this background quite a bit. Whoa, it's already pretty late. Whoa, we studied a lot. Hmm, are you leaving? We're going home. It's already getting dark outside, right, Elizabeth? Hmm. Ugh. You aren't getting angry today. What changed since the day before yesterday? I don't understand at all. So we did get mad at him for leaving us alone like that, huh? Huh? What does he mean? Did something similar happen the day before yesterday? And you are just angry today for some reason. Well, I'm sure the reason you were getting mad before you lost your memories was because, they, or because you liked Kent. You liked him, so you got mad that he didn't pay attention to you, and that he <laughs> sent you crazy short messages. Huh, I see. So you must have really liked him before you lost your memories. This might sound rude, but I don't understand what you liked about this guy. Oh, come on! He literally reminds me of my ex, which is... The personality is sort of the reason why I liked him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, actually, it was all all personality as to why I liked him. He didn't know shit about dating, like actual dating, but still. Doesn't mean that he can't learn. You've really been you've really been acting strange since yesterday. Oh well, I'll show you to the door. Uh <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth, I really wonder what kind of relationship you built with him. He hardly talks, and you weren't going out for long. Can he, or can we really get any information from him? I mean, we are dating, so you would assume that we've known each other for at least a little while. You would assume so. August 3rd. We got a message! Uh, what's this so early in the morning? A message? It's from Kent. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm normally at the university laboratory on we- er, on we- on Wednesday! <laughs> on Wednesday. If you don't have any other plans, you can come by. Have you visited Seichi University before? It's near your house. You should be able to get there easily as long as you have a sense of direction. But if something happens, call me. What? He doesn't have to call his girlfriend to er, what? He doesn't have to call his girlfriend to the university laboratory. 
And if you go, you'll probably just get ignored again like yesterday. And the fact that he's asking whether you've been there or not before, or been there before or not, probably means he goes to a different university than you. Well, I guess this isn't forbidden love between a teacher and a student. Darn! <laughs> what, you were hoping for that? <laughs> you sick perv? <laughs> well, the fewer the obstacles, the better. But I wonder what kind of student you were uh, to him, then. And I'm sure the details concerning why you started to go out is an important part of your memories. We really need to find out more about your relationship with Kent. Anyway, want to try going to this university laboratory? He told us the name of the university, so we should be able to get there on our own if we look it up online first. It's not like you get any stimulation at home. You can just bring your work manual and read it while you sit with Kent again. Okay, now that that's decided, let's get changed and go to Seichi University! One hour later. But this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe! By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy! And I will see you guys in the next video!